my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Packer Shoe slash Reebok collaboration, the Reebok Answer 4 Ultramarine Edition, man, coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of a leather and also a mesh upper. Um, if you didn't know, this shoe is made to mimic the Prada um, shoe that came out back in the day that uh, a lot of people used to wear in the 2000s, man. I can't even lie, but like they kind of switched up the dynamics of the shoe to match that shoe. So let's get into it. Over here, you have this like nylon mesh part right here. Usually on Answer Fours, this is like a, a leather, but due to it that looked like the Prada shoe, they made this like a mesh similar to that Prada shoe. And then also right here on this like, you know, silver thing right here, usually they put like some coloring right here where the i3 logo is, but they left it all gray just to, um, you know, mimic the um, Prada shoe towards the back of the shoe. And usually they have like Iverson right there, but they left that blank. And they got you got the white and um, red you know, Reebok logo. And on uh, the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. And getting towards the lacing system of the shoe, just your standard um, Reebok A4 lacing. Um, one thing that they switched up is they made this um, red. Usually, like this would be like silver. It matches like the secondary part of the shoe, but they made it red, kind of to match that um, Prada shoe. And as you zip it down. You know just the regular um, a4 um, at the top you got that silver right there and on the insole of the shoe the insole is all red and on one shoe it says Reebok and white and on the other shoe it says Packer shoes and white also another detail of the shoe they kind of changed up is usually Iverson's face is right here but they just made it all red just because they really want the shoe to mimic that product shoe that came out but you know let me give you a nice little um, up close look at the shoe one more time if you really haven't seen these in person or just only seen these online but overall a nice shoe a nice mock-up of that Prada shoe that everyone used to wear back in the day because it really was a, a big prom prominent shoe in the 2000s and AI definitely rocked them so um, shout out to Packer Shoes and Reebok for doing this um, collab as far as sizing goes with this shoe I would suggest going um, true to size even if you have a fat a wide a normal or a narrow foot these shoes retail at $180 which is a little bit steep in my opinion I know this is a collaboration shoe and usually with collab shoes the price goes up a little bit but I, I want to say a whole $30 $20 that was a little bit too steep Packer Shoes and Reebok. Y'all need to watch that next time. Also, Packer Shoes charged you $15 for shipping. No type of free shipping on top of it. So, like, you're talking $195. Bucks. How I came across this pair was this shoe was supposed to release last year, but I guess due to COVID or whatever, they had to, like, you know, push back the release date. So, they dropped this on their website, and, you know, it sat for a minute. Like, it dropped it on a Friday, and it took all the way up until that next Monday for it to, like, sell out in all the main big sizes. So, if you wanted this shoe, there was no reason that you missed out on this shoe. All you had to do was go on the Packer website, add it to cart, and check, and ship out. So, I like the fact that they had enough stock, or the demand wasn't as hype for this shoe as I thought it would be. Um, I was hitting up my guy who does bots. I was like, man, bro, can you set up a bot for me to get on um, Packer Shoes and grab it? And, you know, he had the bot ready, but luckily, um, you know, they was doing caption and stuff, so it kind of messed up his bot, and I was able to um, check out manually, so I didn't have to pay a bot fee just to get these shoes. But, you know, I always wanted this shoe when I saw it last year because, you know, this shoe pays homage to that old school Prada shoe that came out in the 2000s that, like, Man, it's, it's so crazy. Like, I'll put a picture of it to the side of me so you can see what I'm talking about. Also, if I could find a picture of AI wearing this shoe, I'll put a picture of it to the side of me. But in the 2000s, everybody had that Prada shoe. It had like a patent leather upper with the mesh size and a little bit of leather on there. And like, it came in multiple colors. But the 2000s was that like crazy weird era in which like we needed a street shoe that could also be worn casually and that um that Prada shoe was it. Um, you also had a bunch of other shoes like that, like the Helly Hansons. You had the the Buffalino B boots. Um, Timberland had their little run in it. They dropped some shoes. Um, but yeah, like that two thousands era. It was the it was the era of that square toed shoe 
with like a little bit of patent leather or some leather on there that you could wear with a button up or you could wear, you know, with a jersey. Like it was just like a crazy era back then. But, you know, um, after a while, after that Prada shoe got so popular, Fila, like they made their own rendition of that shoe. And then that's when the shoe really started to like kind of fall out of, um, of like popularity. People started um, calling them the A Bay Bays because Hurricane Chris, he got signed with Fila and he started wearing them in all his videos. So, like, once you start, once you got a shoe and they was calling them the A Bay Bays, like they kind of like dropped down in popularity. And, that, and that's when like the Prada shoe kind of like, you know, floated out. They also made like a, a high top version of those products as well. Those was way ugly in my opinion. I like the lows better. And I personally, I never really copped any of those shoes like growing up. Like I didn't really have much money to buy anything anyways. But like when I was seeing them on other people's feet, I was a little envious. I kind of wanted them. But then when I remember when I seen them in the store, I was like, man, like these, these are just too ugly. Um, the only shoes that I really kind of wanted was those Haley Hansons with the H on the side. Those was, those was cold in my opinion. But anyways, man, I'm rambling. This shoe um, pays homage to that Prada shoe. I appreciate Packer Shoes and Reebok, you know, just reaching back to the past to like kind of make a shoe that commemorates that era or that shoe because that was a big shoe in the 2000s. Like a lot of people had that shoe on with the with some jeans and a button up shirt or whatever, man. So I'm glad I was able to get these for retail, even though retail was high as hell. Now, without further ado, here's an awful look of the Packer Shoes Reebok Answer 4 Ultramarine Edition. The streets fucked up, I'm just trying to luck up I'm just trying to get some new money, talking big bucks Brody keep a stick tuck, you can never bitch us Swam like a semi-automatic, they gon' fill us Walking through my city with an S on my chest Tell my haters, come and get me, better sleep with a vest Cause they gon' get your whole family on my son when a bet And he gon' watch his mother die with a mouth to the tech Cause it's killed to be killed, uh, eat or be ate I'm just trying to rise while I'm destined for greatness I be money chasing, people think I'm racist. I can't fuck with niggas cause they always on some fake shit. They free my nigga Uzi, he was locked in a pen. And I'm screaming, fuck the system, they don't want us to win. Trying to divide us all together, now you killing your fam. I had to watch my own brother put the gun to his mans. Nigga owed him $10, tried to take his life away. I don't fuck with no violence, I'm just trapping day to day. Cause my son really need me and I'm stacking day to day. Yeah. Uh, bitch, I'm stacking day to day It's like many men trying to come up back to me Why you trying to take my spot? Nigga, you could eat with me Trying to take my bragging rights Crucify me, Jesus Christ I'ma keep on breathing, ayy I'ma keep on breathing, ayy uh. I still see Raluki ain't there When you living out that life's gonna be blush, ayy, ayy. I hold it down and I just run it up yeah, they gon' remember me Shorty wanna fuck me cause my energy I been the bass, turn the speakers up And watch they fucking break, I been an ape And I keep real shooters, keep a fucking K Don't lose your face, brains all in the puddle user uh, I can't really show no love, that shit in the way I seen the darkest damn night So them cloudy days, I roll through the rain uh, So I'm losing my mind, I just can't take no more damn pain uh, I don't got much time, niggas tryna end me For the, for the fame, uh Listen, uh, fucking up all these stores, I swear them M's in I got them my store on my wrist, some shit like Ben 10's uh, Tell my young now we gonna bench it uh. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today I really do appreciate it Smash that like button if you like this video Also comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Reebok Answer 4's It could be these, it could be the step overs, could be the um, reverse playoffs could be the white and red 25th anniversary edition whatever man just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section also if you aren't subscribed to the channel what are you doing man hit that subscribe button takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when i drop future videos and lastly peace